हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर पूनम केला वर्किंग एज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एट मॉडर्न कॉलेज ऑफ फार्मसी नेगडी टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू कंडक्ट अ लेक्चर ऑन सिजोफ्रेनिया सो लेट्स सी व्हाट इज सिजोफ्रेनिया सिजो मींस स्प्लिटिंग एंड फ्रेनिया मींस माइंड इट इज मेंटल कंडीशन इन्वॉल्विंग डिस्टोर्डेड परसेप्शन ऑफ रियालिटी एंड इनएबिलिटी टू फंक्शन इन मोस्ट एस्पेक्ट ऑफ लाइफ इट इज डिवाइडेड इनटू फॉलोइंग टाइप्स डिसऑर्गेनाइज कैटाटोनिक पैरानॉइड अनडिफरेंशिएटेड इट इज क्लासिफाइड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ साइंस एंड सिम्टम्स that patient shows in schizophrenia the symptoms are divided into three types positive negative and cognitive symptoms in positive that there is exaggeration of normal process or behavior so we, in that delusion hallucination psychosis disorganized thinking or speech inappropriate behavior and catatonia is observed in negative symptoms it is also called as flat effect there is absence of normal behavior or emotions in that allogia that is poverty of speech evolution that is decreased motivation is observed the example of negative symptoms are social withdrawal absence of emotion and expression reduced energy motivation and activity poor hygiene the cognitive symptoms includes memory learning and understanding inability schizophrenia is divided into three phases in phase 1 prodromal phase that is withdrawal is observed in that the anxiety like symptoms is shown in some patient second is active phase in that positive symptoms is observed third one is residual phase in that cognitive symptoms is observed the causes responsible for schizophrenia in that first one is genetic prenatal damage environment neurotransmitter brain abnormalities reinforcement of a bizarre behavior now we will see dopamine pathway as dopamine release is fluctuated in schizophrenia so first is nigrostriatal pathway in that it is projected from substantia nigra to striatum it stimulate purposeful movement then second is mesocortical pathway projected from vta that is ventral tegmental area to the cortex it is responsible for cognition and executive function emotions implications of this is hyperfunction of the mesocortical pathway might be related to cognitive and negative symptoms in schizophrenia then mesolimbic pathway in that it is projected from the vta to the nucleus accumbens it is responsible for motivation emotion rewards and positive symptoms of schizophrenia in that the implication is d2 antagonist reduce positive symptoms of schizophrenia the last one is tuber o infundibular pathway it is projected from hypothalamus to infundibular region the pathophysiology of schizophrenia in that first one is dopamine hypothesis the numerous pet studies have shown dopaminergic hyperactivity in the nucleus accumbens and dopaminergic hypofunction in the frontier temporal region pet also assessing d2 specific ligand provide data suggesting increase densities of d2 receptor in the nucleus accumbens and d1 function suggested that population of schizophrenia may have decreased densities of d1 receptor in the prefrontal cortex the positive symptoms are resulted from over activity in the mesolimbic dopaminergic pathway activating d2 receptor whereas negative symptoms may result from decrease activity in the mesocortical dopaminergic pathway where d1 receptor are predominant the next pathophysiology is glutamate hypothesis an mda in that this receptor hypofunction is reduce the level of activity in mesocortical dopaminergic neurons this would result in a decrease in dopamine release in the prefrontal vertex and thus gives rise to negative symptoms on the other hand an mda receptor hypofunction is enhance activity in mesolimbic dopaminergic pathway perhaps because in this pathway the important nmda receptor are those located on gabanergic interneurons next is 5 hydroxy tryptamine the serotonergic receptor are present on dopaminergic axon and it is known that stimulation of this receptor will reduce dopamine release in prefrontal cortex the complications of schizophrenia is depression anxiety suicidal tendency obsessive compulsive disorder that is ocd substance abuse the diagnosis is basically depend on 
प्रॉपर हिस्ट्री ऑफ द पेशंट सायकॅट्रिक इव्हॅल्युएशन डॉक्टर ऑर मेंटल हेल्थ प्रोफेशनल चेक मेंटल स्टेटस बाय ऑब्झर्विंग अपिअरन्स आस्किंग अबाउट थॉट्स मूड अवेअरनेस अ पर्सन मे बी डायग्नोज इफ दे हॅव ॲट लिस्ट टू ऑफ द फॉलोइंग सिम्टम्स युजली ओव्हर अ मंथ इन दॅट डिल्युजन हॅलुसिनेशन डिसऑर्गनाइज बिहेव्हिअर डिसऑर्गनाइज स्पीच अँड थॉट्स प्रोसेस कॅटाटोनिक बिहेव्हिअर निगेटिव्ह सिम्टम्स द फार्माकोलॉजिकल ट्रीटमेंट द मेडिकेशन इन दॅट अँटीसायकोटिक ड्रग्स मेनी आर मेड टू ब्लॉक अँड अल्टर डोपामाईन अँड सरोटोनिन रिसेप्टर नॉट अ क्युअर बट रिड्यूस सिम्टम्स इन फिफ्टी पर्सेंट पेशंट फॉर एक्झाम्पल ओलॅन्झेपिन साईड इफेक्ट्स आर ट्रीमर्स डिस्टोनिया रेसलेसनेस इनवॉल इनवॉल्युंटरी मुवमेंट ऑफ माउथ वेट गेन अँड स्किन प्रॉब्लेम्स द अँटीसायकोटिक ट्रीटमेंट इन दॅट फर्स्ट क्लास इज बेन्झोथॅझेपिन दॅट इज क्लोरप्रोमॅझिन अँड ट्रॅफ्लुरोप्रोमॅझिन अँड दीज आर द सम रिमेनिंग ड्रग क्लासेस विच आर यूजफुल इन सिझोफ्रेनिक पेशंट यू हॅव टू मग अप दिस क्लासिफिकेशन द अटिपिकल नॉवेल सेकंड जनरेशन अँटीसायकोटिक्स आर क्लोझापिन ओलॅन्झापिन दॅट इज टेन टू ट्वेंटी एम जी डेली अँड रेस्पिरिडोन इज यूजफुल द नॉन फार्माकोलॉजिकल ट्रीटमेंट इन्क्लूड्स प्रॉपर काउन्सलिंग फॅमिली काउन्सलिंग सायकोलॉजिकल थेरपी ऑक्युपेशनल ट्रेनिंग इज यूजफुल टू गिव्ह सम बेनिफिट टू द सिझोफ्रेनिक पेशंट दीज आर सम रेफरन्सेस दॅट आय हॅव यूज थँक्यू सो मच फॉर पेशंट लिसनिंग